Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Today we're continuing work on our 67 Mustang Coupe. We're rebuilding the entire power steering system. Today we're going to remove the power steering pump and the hoses and we're just going to keep moving forward on this project. So if you're starting to see a lot more of my videos um, and you want to help us grow and support our channel, um, you can do so very easily by liking commenting, subscribing to the channel, all those little things help us out tremendously, so I do appreciate it. So, let's jump right into this. We've got the 289 V8, factory power steering pump, and this thing, I know you can't really see or feel what it's like on the video, but it's just completely burned up here. So we're gonna remove this pump. Okay, so there's a pressure line right here, and then a return line right here. Break that free. Should be able to just thread that off. Just like that. And now on the return line, just looks like a standard hose clamp on that one. If you're having a hard time, I like to use these little picks. There, there's that hose off. This whole pump assembly is essentially gonna come out with this bolt, and then there's a lower bolt down here, which is like your adjustment bolt. Normally, if you had your belt on, you would loosen this, loosen that, and then you would be able to just kind of pivot your whole pump assembly. So now it's already loose. So you would just be able to pivot that and then get the belt off. That's how you would normally do this. Got an aftermarket uh, radiator. I'm gonna have to loosen this bracket. Or remove it completely. Okay, there you go. So the first thing that we need to do is pull this bracket off uh, by pulling off this pulley. So we have this uh, remover, pulley remover tool. I'm sorry, that's the installer. This is the remover tool. So we're going to install this like this. This is, these two pieces are lipped. It's gonna go around the flange of this pulley and the remover tool at the same time, like that. The sleeve is gonna go over like this. These tools, you can, you can actually buy these tools from uh, National Parts Depot. And then by hand, you're just gonna essentially tighten this bolt and it's just gonna pull, it's just gonna pull that pulley right off. Okay, so I just put this up here in the vise just so it's, I can kind of wrench on it a little bit, a little easier. 
and hopefully you can kind of see that really well how that's set up. Okay, so essentially you just need to hold the one shaft and tighten the other. It's kind of tough, but that pulley, if you just kind of watch on the back side of it here, you'll actually see it start to pull off. All right, so it does take a little bit of wrenching, but once you get it started, actually, it goes a lot easier. But that's like how you remove the pulley. Okay, so now we have the pulley off. You can just take off these three bolts here, and you can get your bracket off. comes off we'll set that aside okay so now we have the bracket off and the pulley off you need to get the casing you need to get the actual pump out of the casing so we just have this this nut here on the back side usually these things are pretty tight so you may have to put it in the vise in order to break that loose Okay, so getting the pump out of the actual case can be a little tricky. Um, there's an O-ring that goes around here and that sometimes is kind of overwhelming. So what I've done is kind of just use a wrench. I have this in a vise and I was able to turn the pump like that and kind of break that seal loose. So now I'm just going to take my rubber mallet and just kind of hammer on the back side here. I'm just trying to loosen this up by spinning it around like this. That old O-ring is probably pretty dry. This pump hasn't been in service for a number of years. Whew! Finally! Okay, so that's how you get the pump out. You can buy these replacement pumps that uh, come in the case, but you can also get them like this. In our case, we got them like this. So we're gonna clean this case up and uh, get ready to install our new pump. Okay, so we're gonna get our pump back in here in order to get our new one to slide in. I just like to and I coat these with a little bit of Vaseline. Just put a little bit of petroleum jelly on that. That won't hurt anything. I hope I can get this to slide in. Okay, so before you install this uh, power sharing pump, make sure your gasket goes on the inside of the pump before it goes in the case. Um, first time I put this in there, I put the gasket on the outside, that is wrong. The gasket goes on the inside like this, and then you install your pump into the case. Okay, so we're gonna get our bracket on here.
Okay. So you want to orient this uh, mounting bracket to be proportionate kind of with your, your filler neck here. That's where your dipstick goes. So this is like where it bolts up to the engine and you can't have your filler neck pointed down like that. So we're just gonna loosen this lock nut on the back. and you can kind of just turn it. Kind of like that. You get it to where you want it. Get it to where you want it to be. So that way this is kind of like just off onto the right hand side of that. It's usually where they're at. Okay, so now we just gotta get our pulley on. So just make sure you're not going this way, you're going this way. Kind of get it started when we're using this installer tool. It just slides through and threads in. And then we're gonna slide that down on there. Pretty similar to how we removed it. Not to get to tighten up our belt down here. Okay, when you're ready to fill your power steering system. Um, this is very important to note, and this kind of applies to any type of, you know, repair that you may make on your power steering system, whether it's a pump or a hose or, you know, the, the cylinder or the control valve. Um, you're going to have some air in the system. you got to kind of work that out. So I like to get the wheels off the ground. You want to get the load of the vehicle off the ground. And so that way, you know, your system is unrestrained. It can safely purge all that air through. The only fluid I recommend is Motocraft Type F. If, you know, you can't find any Motocraft, then it's got to be Type F. But uh, the Motocraft is the preferred fluid of choice. So once you get your fluid filled, before you start your engine, you can just kind of run your steering wheel back and forth. Without the engine running, this will kind of push some of that uh, fluid through and air out and kind of gets as much fluid in all the areas as possible. So you can do this several times. Once you're, you know, kind of purged and 
fluid's full and you're ready to start up for the first time, wheel's off the air, and then your new pump is gonna be working well and purging air, and it's not gonna be immediately working super, super hard to try and get all that air out. And you know, you don't wanna burn up your brand new pump, so. Now the engine's running. Now we can turn our wheels back and forth. You're gonna do this a while. Just kinda go from one side to the other. Kinda works out fluid into all the places and gets all the air out of the system. Okay, well, power steering works great on this. Uh, Pumps are actually pretty pretty easy, easy to do when you have the right tools and you kind of see how it can be done. So anyways, as always, uh, we're here to help keep your Mustang on the road, out of the garage, and we'll catch you next time.